Welcome friends, welcome to the lecture series of digital electronics. So today we are going to learn about the product of sum and sum of products. Uh, we can shortly write it as product of sum and we can say sum of product. In short, it can be written as POS and SOP. Now, what is this terms? So, these terms are basically uh, used for the simplification purpose of the Boolean equation. So, consider this logic equation that is y is equals to ac plus bc. So, in this uh, logic equation, you can see that the y is our output and a, b and c are the inputs but uh, they are performing some different values. So if we can draw the circuit diagram for this uh, logic expression then uh, it is basically uh, write it as like this uh, two AND gates both will be the have two the inputs at the input terminals here you can see that this one is called as the input terminals the output terminals of this both the inputs will be like this way this one is our OR gate and the output will be taken at over here that is y is equals to ac plus bc so this way and these are our inputs a b and c so when we realize the boolean equation by using gates uh, each literal acts as an input here you can see that this one is one input and this one is also a one input at this stage over here we are talking about this literals over here and this input will be as ac and this input will be as an bc so each term will be as considered as an literal so literals will be the input at this stage so that is the main concept of this uh, thing so any logic expression can be expressed in following these two terms these are product of sum and sum of products so these two forms are suitable for reducing the given logic expression to its simplest form. So here you can see it is already in the simplest form. We have to do nothing with this but whenever the terms are in complicated manners then we need to simplify these terms. So for the sum of products if we going go to learn for the sum of products which is called as an SOP so it can be written as let's take a example that is y is equals to a plus ab plus ac plus bc so here you can see this all three are considered as the product why because two inputs are producted with each other each other and these are the sum so that is called as the form of sum of product here we have already studied sum of products and uh, in this way we can write this sum of products so therefore such expressions are known as uh, sum of product form and uh, the sums and products in the SOP form are not the actual additions or multiplications in fact they are the OR AND AND functions right here you can see that this is this one is OR function over here it is dot between these two between these two and here it is plus operator over here so it is AND function so this way the sum of products can be expressed if we can check some examples 
like one example is over here that y is equals to a b c here you can see the dot operator over here plus b c d plus a b d bar over here we can write this particular d bar so d bar that means if we are considering d bar as n zero that's up to us that what we are taking but in different uh, times it will be different uh, meaning of this bar or we can say only two meanings that if if we take d bar as n zero and if we take d bar as n one so that's all for that d bar consideration here you can see the second example that uh, a is equals to x y plus x bar y plus x y bar so here you can see this example of sum of product one more example if we can take that is p bar q bar dot product of both the bars p q and r plus p q and r bar so this is this are the expression of sops so if we further check then the product of sums can be written as pos so let's understand pos is nothing but the product of sum uh, can be written as like this that if we take y is equals to a plus b dot b plus c dot and a plus c here we can see the dot operator that is called as the products products and this all terms are considered as the sum sum of the terms right so this way it can be represented and for example if we take y is equals to a plus b bar plus c bar then it is called as this as a product of sum a bar plus c so one example second example if we take that x bar y x bar plus y bar dot product x plus y plus z the third example that is y is equals to p plus r dot p plus q bar dot p bar plus r so this way all the three so uh, examples can be represented so in this way sum of products and uh, product of sums can be expressed so uh, this all the techniques and uh, in this techniques also there are some standard sop and non standard sop forms uh, for that you have to study the uh, particular uh, sum about this uh, boolean equation so if you are uh, whenever you go and practice this sums you will definitely get an idea that which one is the standard and non standard for example if we take is this as an y is equals to ab plus abc bar plus a bar bc so here you can see there some uh, input is missing in the first term so that is the code as the known standard p o s o p sum of product and uh, if we consider this a y is equals to a b plus a b bar plus a bar b bar then it is considered as an standard sum of product so this way it can be represented and uh, these all are the techniques to know this thing so if uh, any equation is provided in this way in non standard form then you have to bring that equation into the standard sop by uh, doing the boolean equations uh, laws applying this boolean laws to this equation and you can bring that term in in this standard form 
if we check one more example of non standard pos then it can be written as y is equals to a bar plus b dot a plus b dot a plus b bar so this one is a standard but if we check non standard then it will be like a bar plus b dot a plus b plus c see you can see that it is easy to find out the non standard form this one is the non standard of pos and this one is the standard pos so this way uh, you can identify the boolean equations whether it is in standard form or non standard form whether it is in uh, sum of product form or whether it is in product of sum forms so uh, this way you can identify the equations so that's all for the uh, digital electronics uh, in the next lecture we are going to learn about the min max term and min term and after that we are going into the techniques of the k map or we can say the boolean equation simplification what are the different techniques of boolean equation simplification so these all things we can learn in the next lecture so uh, if you have learned something from this video then you can like and share my video and uh, to watch more or more like this or this kind of videos uh, you can definitely subscribe to my channel uh, thank you